Ultra High Performance Concrete, or UHPC, presents the potential of major improvements in bridge construction. International experiences with UHPC have shown that a bridge's superstructure weight can be reduced by as much as 40%. These weight reductions could represent major design and construction benefits, especially for long-span bridges. The Texas Department of Transportation and the Texas A&M Transportation Institute are looking into ways UHPC can be used to develop new bridges in the state. This research project was looking at uh, ultra-high performance concrete, otherwise known as UHPC, and uh, looking at ways uh, that we can leverage this new material in terms of use, use in our bridge structures, uh, specifically looking at uh, girders and how we can optimize our girders within Texas uh, infrastructure. UHPC includes steel fibers that are very small, tiny fibers, and there are many different types of fibers out there. So it was a mixture of of working with our fabricators and then also working in the lab and that's what Mary Beth and her team did is actually tested the girders, full-scale testing. We um, used the laboratory facilities at the Texas A&M University Center for Infrastructure Renewal. So we had the opportunity to use both the materials testing facilities as well as the high bay structural testing facility. And then eventually we adopted one of those mixtures for use at a precast plant where we scaled it up to production um, and went ahead and did a trial batch. And when that was found to work well, we were able to then begin casting bridge girder specimens that we are then able to test at full scale to determine the structural performance of, of girders using UHPC. We want to extend the life of these br bridges <clears throat> and we also want to have uh, projects uh, that we can deliver quickly. So we're looking at a non-proprietary mix uh, that uh, is also cost effective. If we look at the expected service life of components made with this material, we're looking at over 150 years. And so with that, um, the challenge is to bring the rest of the structure up to that same level of service life, and that would allow us to replace bridges less often. Within Texas, we do have varying climates and environments. So like, let's say in the Panhandle, in Amarillo, Lubbock, you have you know, freeze thaw, you have salts that are used to, uh, that we apply on the roadways for the public to be able to travel when it's icy or snowy. Um, so that actually causes uh, corrosion <clears throat> um, that can reduce the lifespan of a bridge. So because UHPC is more dense, uh, utilizing fiber in the mix, um, it has less porosity, then hopefully we can create more of a watertight seal. We were able to test UHPC girders at full scale, and I think the study will definitely help to contribute to the understanding and the, the confidence in, in using this material in bridge girders. One of the things that we were able to do is to actually test the girders with the cast-in-place deck on top, which represents better what we find in the field. And so from that point of view, we can provide a more realistic understanding of the performance of these bridge girders in, in practice. For more information and to find the publication for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.